What's going on, true family? This, y'all know it's true again. First night out, you know, they couldn't stop me nine days. I'm back out. Let me tell y'all what happened. First of all, uh, I appreciate everybody. Once again, my true family showed up, you know, for what I had to go through. But let me tell y'all what's different this time. All the people that send me cash apps, y'all know I love y'all. Y'all getting them back tonight. I didn't need them. God showed up and took care of me this time. And I didn't even know it until I went and went face what I had to face. Right? Let's move on. I'm back out. I ain't never been scared. This dog shit, this dog shit is real. Now, let me say this very important thing. The motherfucker led me there. Y'all already know the story. Right? I had to go to court because I ain't no runner. Right? Like they, they led me there. Guess where they put me at? They put me right next to motherfucking Cornelius Smith. Right next door to Cornelius Smith in the dungeon. Right? Let me explain that. When I say right next door, I don't mean in the same goddamn pod with Cornelius Smith. I mean in the motherfucking, he was in L, I was in K. In the dungeon where I ain't supposed to be. I supposed to be on the fucking fourth floor with an aggravated assault charge that I ain't done nothing about, right? They put me in there and left me there for four days. I ain't go to no arraignment. You know what I'm saying? When they arrested me, back up for a minute. When they got me in court, they ain't even take me the regular route. They took me to a goddamn uh, 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 ulterior route. I made that little short video showing y'all I'm sitting here in, next to a goddamn tent. You know what I'm saying? With a Next to a sheriff van, right? Guess what? That ain't over with. They left me there. I ain't go to court. You know, everybody, I went to jail on a fucking Tuesday. I was supposed to be in court the next day for arraignment with every charge I ever had. That's how I knew some shit was going on, but I already knew it before I left. But then let me fast forward a little bit. Uh, when they finally called me, when they finally called my name, I ain't been to court. I ain't been sitting there wondering. Uh, didn't know what the fuck this shit came from. The first person I see was a, was a blue-eyed white girl with a ponytail. And guess who I saw? The TBI. The same motherfucker that did the press conference with uh, CJ Davis. Right? The same motherfucker that caught straight drop ass is in my fucking face. First thing he said, do you know why you here? First thing I said, do you know why I'm here? Right? Because I know you. Why am I talking to TBI? Oh, is he the U.S. Marshal? You know the black dude that did it? The one that caught straight drop. Right? Okay. Let me fast forward. I ain't finna tell y'all that because I just got out. I got to throw this phone away. I ain't supposed to be seeing him. If I'm looking in your face and you ain't the detective telling me what the fuck this aggravated assault charge is, then why am I looking at the same motherfucking shit, same motherfucking dude that uh, did the press conference that caught straight drop? Why am I looking in your face? Why are you here? One thing I found out is the motherfucking tags. The Texas plate. The Texas plate got DNA on that motherfucker. You feel me? Hold up, I got a phone call. I'm gonna come back. This is true. I got a story to tell y'all, and I got something to show y'all. True, I'll be back.